Hey, hey, you beautiful, wonderful, amazing person who decided to stop by and watch my insane life. I'm Keto Diamond, and today is day six of my ketogenic rehash journey, day 1783, for those of you who's keeping score. Uh, I've used keto to lose over 155 pounds so far, but in the last, I don't know, nine, ten months, I regained like 25 pounds. And now I've got to take it back off. I'm working on it. It's a work in progress, but here I is progress. All right, you guys. So if you want to hear about the weigh-in for day six in the last several days that I've missed and why I've missed, like, subscribe, share, ring the bell, and uh, comment down below if you find something worthy of commenting on. All right, y'all. It's that time to rant, rave, and misbehave Keto Diamond style. It's been fantastic. I am missing my grandbaby something fierce. Destiny, I, I had, I've had i seen Anthony quite a bit. Zach's been at his, his other grandma's because it's now summertime for him. And she had a couple of days off work. And then Destiny did bring Athena over for me to see yesterday. And I kind of, I think we upset her because we didn't have time to really watch her. Had to go to Lowe's, had to get some more crap. Uh, it's just, it's, oh no, she was here when we got back. We had to go to Walmart to get husband, my husband a new HDMI cable because his broke when he moved his TV. So, yeah. Uh, it's been a week. It's been a week. I got a nice gift in the mail, though. Um, oh, you know, before I get to that, I'll show y'all that in just a second. I don't know who sent it. I haven't read all my comments yet. You might have mentioned it. But if you didn't mention it before, please let me know below if you sent this. And I'll show it to y'all in a minute. Good morning, you guys. So, I got a package. I didn't know I was expecting a package. So there's no telling how long that thing's been in the box. And it's so big they stuffed it inside one of the big uh, things you, you know, put a key in to get it out. I had to squish it, pull it, squish it, pull it, squish it, pull it, and work it out of the deck on hole. I was like, I didn't even know I was expecting anything. So to whoever sent it, I'm so very sorry that I haven't checked before now. So I don't know how long it's been there. My bad. And I just had a shower, so I'm all gross and wet looking. But I had to go out and get some doggy food and my dad some bread because he's been helping with the house and they eat sandwiches. Anyway, let's check this pocket package out. This is the box that was in the box. And it was really, really hard to get out. <laughs> let's open it. Of course, with Amazon, there was another box inside the box. And it's this here. I haven't opened it, obviously. So it is a simple, trending, stackable, three-tier mesh basket organizer door. I love this. I assume this is for my new bathroom. There was no note inside to tell me who it came from so I have no idea who sent it but to whoever you are thank you so much and I will check my comments because it's, it's probably in my comment section I just haven't I've been lazy <laughs> and busy and all over the place but you guys whoever sent this right now thank you so very much once I get my bathroom as uh, straightened out this will definitely come in a big ball of handy thank you I can wink at you so easily because his eye still isn't working uh, properly. I can make it work. But yeah, so that's still the leftover effect of the Bell's Palsy. Still a little bit noticeable. You can tell a little bit other than the eye, but not super, super bad. Hopefully that'll come back right. I did have some wiggles or uh, um, fluttery, um, oh, what are they called? I'll think of the word in a minute. But I did get some in my eyelid the other day, so hopefully it'll come on back. It's just not an overnight process. It just isn't. I don't even know how long it's been since I started having Bell's Palsy this time. But, yeah, fun, fun. But it is what it is, as always. I'm sorry I haven't uploaded in a few days. I've got really good excuses, so if you'll sit back, I'll go ahead and tell you those excuses. Sunday night, I got off work. So dead tired. I sit down over there at... 8 p.m. Uh, we did get fast food Sunday night because ain't no way in hell I was cooking. Why is my dog barking? Go play, Jake. Go play, Jake. 
Anyway, y'all try to ignore the dog in the background. He's outside just having a good time. Um, it's distracting me, though. Uh, I'll be back. He got done and run off. At least he's not barking right by the door now, so. A little better. <laughs> and the kitty, what? Did, hey, 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 hey. You're not allowed to bathe yourself on YouTube. Come on. Thank you. <laughs> oh, okay, so Sunday night after we got off work, I was so dead to the world. It was so hot this weekend. Hotter this week than hot the last three days. Oh my goodness. I, I got a little thermometer thingy, a little temperature gauge. And I took it outside today. And I think it's kind of sort of broken, but it's it's right right now going by my my air conditioners. So let me show you what it said today while my husband and father were outside working. Check this out. Now, going by my phone or the, my, my weather app, it only felt like 103. But by that, it's 120. And initially, it just said HH, which I think means hot, hot. Hot, 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 hot. Hot. Whew. And then, like, at first, our bathroom floor was out. Now, I'm not going to give you any video updates because I'm going to do a whole video on it when they're done. <coughs> a lot of progress has been made. A lot, lot. But anyway, Sunday night, I come home dead to the world. I sit there on that couch, and I passed out. I passed out so early, I was awake at like 5 a.m. Well, about 4.45 a.m. I was just awake, and I started watching Green Acres. I don't know why. It was on Roku, and then I watched like two seasons worth. <laughs> I'm not really sure. It's been a long time since I've seen that show, and it still kind of makes me go, wow. And then a lot of they could not even air that today. That man would be canceled just for being a bitch. And she, and she ding that. But you know, you know, you have to be damn near brilliant to act that dingy. So, uh, even before was probably absolutely brilliant. But, yeah. <laughs> I was like, but it's, it's a, a fairly fun show and I got caught up watching it. And, but anyway, Tuesday, my husband got up. Uh, I let him sleep in. He slept about 10.30ish um, because our work weekend was really hard and really hot and just tiring, you know, and he had worked on the bathroom. Uh, wait, no, we'd win. Yeah, he'd worked on the bathroom some, you know, the week prior and uh, we discovered the bedroom floor had to come out too. So he started ripping that out Monday. By the time he got it all ripped out Tuesday morning, my dad, who apparently, um, oh, wait, uh, we can only assume he had the C word because my mother tested positive for the C word. Um, but it had been about three weeks and he's feeling up and about and moving around. He came down here and started helping my husband with the rip out repair. Yeah, stuff started going like that. But having help, Big Brian having help from basically a professional carpenter is fantastic because my dad knows things most people have no idea about, like which way the wood grain should go to make the floor more, more sturdy. And instead of just laying um, th three fourths plywood down, which is almost an inch thick, he laid two sheets down. So our floors are an inch and a half thick. Now he wants in the house. I'll be back. <laughs> I love my dog. I love him. So if Jake barks away from the door, he's just bitching and having a good time. If he barks towards the door, he wants in the house. Yeah. He's got his, I understand most of his language. It's usually feed me or let me out, or it's usually feed me or let me out, or it's time for bed, mom, but yeah. <laughs> but anyway, when my dad got up here helping him and was able to show him a few things, things started just going like that. They've got the wall pinned back to the house. It was coming away from the house. Uh, they've got all the rock cut away. They've got all new stuff laid down, so we've got floors completely. Uh, we don't have the flooring on it, but we have an inch and a half thick solid oak wood um, on the floors. It should take many a year for that rots out. In fact, by the time it rots out, I should be dead and gone and somebody else's damn problem. <laughs> I don't want to say it like that, 
but I want it to last like that. Plus, everything we're putting in there is waterproof, watertight. There's going to be so many seals on that stuff because I don't want to deal with this ever again. I'm going to seal everything. If I see water on the floor, I'm sealing it again after I clean the water up, of course. But, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's been crazy. Um, and, and I was going to do a video, but they worked into late yesterday evening, which is a lot of banging, clanging, saws, uh, saws, it's not what that thing's called. What the hell is that thing called? It might be called a saws. That's not. It's another kind of saw, though. They got it one in there. And then, uh, you know, I've had sawdust to fly, and I've had uh, hammers. It, it's been loud in here. They, there's no way to do a video like that. And then when they did finally finish and cleaned off a little bit, um, we had to go back to Lowe's, get some more flooring and some more stuff. And I swear we've been to Lowe's so many times they know us by name now. So, like, ah, the Wilsons. What y'all need today? Apparently to give you more money than I'm gonna give you, but here we go anyway. And you guys are awesome and nice and sweet, and thank you very much for taking my money. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I am tired of being broke right now. I'm getting really, really sick of it. Getting sick of my hollow prices, but y'all know how that works. Either way though, my keto days have been fantastic. Almost every meal has been eaten at home. There were two meals that were eaten out Sunday night because Ain't no way in hell I was cooking nothing. Ain't no way in hell I was even coming home making a sandwich. Mm -mm. I couldn't do it. I could hardly walk. I could hardly see. I was hot. I was sticky. I was sweaty. I wanted to shower and I wanted to sit my chunky ass down with a full belly and that was it. That was that was it. I ain't care. But I still kept it keto. Hubby has kept it keto this entire time too. Very, very proud of him. He's been keto all six days that I've been keto. Um, we don't really know if he's had any results because he's been a very busy fellow you know he hasn't really messed with the scale him and my dad yesterday and today uh ate tomato sandwiches of course hubby ate his on keto bread and uh honestly i think my dad's doing work for free food <laughs> he's just like how about them tomato sandwiches girl need some soda girl get cold stuff out of the refrigerator let's go it's like all right Lay that I would. I'll be right back. <laughs> uh, and um, hubby working alone had to take a lot of breaks because it's really, really hard to do that kind of physical labor on your own with this kind of heat. It's been ridiculously hot. Um, it's just absolutely insane. And it, like I, I think it, it malfunctioned my thermostat thingy. So you know, sorry. This drink is so cold and good. And it's been such a hot day. It's just now cooled down a lot, lot to where it's comfortable. And, and because it's been so hot all day, it's a little bit chilly. But All right, so let me go ahead and shut up, show you my keto reboot days, show you some of the things I eat. I don't think I recorded everything, but most everything. Um, and if I didn't, it was probably a sandwich on keto bread or a, a, I think I showed you most of everything. I have not had time to do my macros, although tomorrow hopefully I'll have time to get some done. So that, because I do want to kind of keep up with everything so I can monitor what I'm eating. But for the vast majority, I've done so well. I'm very, very proud of myself. I'm proud of my husband. Proud of my husband and daddy for the work they're doing. Thursday morning, keto day one, 181.4. Day two, it is Friday, 177.2. All right, it is Saturday morning, keto day three, 178.0. At work, it don't look too pretty, but it's a salad with some ranch and ham cubes and a little bit of bacon bits. All right, so, and this is on keto bread. It's Arnold's keto bread, uh, turkey cheese mayonnaise. All right, I had some pork skins dipped in some salsa while I'm waiting for my food to cook for dinner. I'm starving. I also had a turkey and cheese roll up. All right, you guys, dinner time finally. I've got some chicken breasts, this Purdue uh, fully cooked chicken uh, that was heated up. I put some Tessa Mays Buffalo Ranch on it. This is, what is it, zucchini, yellow and green zucchini. Uh, and then I put some melted cheese and queso on it. Sunday morning, 179. <sighs> All right, well, that's a good thing. So me and Heavy are having lunch finally. We got our 
salad with some chicken in it and I also got some sandwiches with a different kind of bread in it. Alright, me and hubby just got home from work. I'm so tired. I'm not cooking. I've got a big bacon king no bun. Alright, it's Monday morning. 176.2. I'm actually kind of surprised because I feel horrible and very weighted and I've also been up for a uh, uh, about an hour and a half watching Green Acres at 6 o'clock in the morning. I don't know why. Alright you guys, after a very, very long day, we got a half pound beef and cheddar. I actually brought it home and added more cheddar to it, warmed it up, and some lettuce. Hubby wanted some tomatoes in his, so that's what we have. Alright y'all, Tuesday morning, 176. So it's Tuesday. This will be my second full day for the day. I actually eat the other one like hours ago because I'm going to eat this piece of cheese too. Just realized I forgot to record yesterday's lunch, which was two turkey and cheese sandwiches on the cultured keto bread. Um, that seems to work for, for me. The Arnold's keto bread doesn't seem to work. It's also a lot denser and I don't care for it as much. So the cultured keto bread seems to be good for me. So you guys, tonight I've got pork chop and cabbage and it's so good. Very yummy. But anyway, I do want to kind of go over my... Um, six days because on the first day I started out at 181.4 which was having gained about 25 pounds overall and today it was 174.6 so in my six days I have went down 6.8 pounds I am pleased with that I can't wait to get back back down way way far back down under 170 back under 160 it hit some new lows and stuff in those 150s the mid 150s I'm ready for it. Uh, it's been a long time coming. So, and like I said in my intro, if, if if you're new here, I've lost a lot, and I hung on very dear life to maintaining in just a few pound range. <clears throat> and then, like, my life's been hectic. It's been chaotic. It's been stressful. And at some place, I let it go and just said, you know what? I'm doing keto isk, and it's good enough. And then getting on the scale, I'm like, oh, no, 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 my darling, that's not good enough. Um, so, yeah, it's been a little bit hectic and chaotic. Not really a good excuse, but it's the one I got. It's the one I'm going to go with. So, <laughs> that's the way it is. Um, hey, guys, I put on makeup just for y'all tonight. It's actually kind of a lie. I wanted to play in makeup, and I wanted to do a video. So, I might as well play in the makeup and then do the video. I haven't been able to wear a whole lot of eye makeup because of this eye being messed up. I can't close it good enough and tight enough now that I can put on mascara and eyeshadow without it like getting in my eye. So, you know, I can hold it shut for a good little while so I can do makeup now. But last several weeks, I ain't really been able to wear much of nothing because I was scared I was going to get in my eye or like poop my eyeball out with my mascara brush. So, um, I've been very careful and I don't normally wear lipstick, but I got bored and I was doing makeup. So, I was like, let's do it. Um, I broke all my nails this week at work. They're ultra super short. And it turns out I like to dig my nails in styrofoam to hold it. And it was breaking them all like really, really deep. And some of them need to be shorter, but I can't cut them any shorter without it hurting really bad. So I've just got to wait for them to grow out. They cut that broken piece and hopefully it'll work that way. I don't know how I get on these tangents of talking my ass off, but I do it. I do it. Anyway. You guys, I'm super excited because I've, I'm going to have a, a brand new bathroom soon and half a brand new bedroom. So, and the whole bedroom will get that done soon. And this, this entire house doesn't need to be remodeled. It needs to be restored. There's not much that's literally salvageable um, other than the tin and the siding around it. Um, most of the rooms are completely stable. Um, the flooring is all completely stable except for the spots that were just fixed. But it ain't none of it pretty. Not a damn bit of it's pretty. I mean, you see, if you look behind me, it's just, it's just plywood. I mean, it's thick ass plywood. It ain't going nowhere. But if you you don't want to shimmy your feet across it, you know what I mean? You gonna get splinters. Um, I, I always hated for the grandbabies to crawl across it. <clears throat> but for the longest time, we were a single income family, and all the kids were here. It was just, it was a different story. I went back to work to fix all of this and I got me a car and hubby had to have surgery or he had surgery then I got me a car. It's been a whole thing. 
And, and now we're getting it together where we can get this stuff fixed. We had to. We didn't have a choice because the bathtub kind of fell through the floor. Not all the way. Just twisted. Um, but it, anyway, it could have caused a serious injury. Thank goodness it didn't. But we're, we're working on it. We're getting it all together. And now Hubby's got this bug. This bug. He's enjoying fixing the house. He's got ideas. I'm going to let him run with them. <laughs> uh, he's after he finishes these two rooms he's going to get our deck next that sucker is falling apart in fact it, we didn't actually build that deck there was an old swimming pool deck um, and, and it was just happened to be the right height so we stuck it at the front door and built some steps on it and that was like 10 years ago so I mean yeah that has to be fixed to repair before somebody gets hurt on that and after that I believe our kitchen but the kitchen is going to be really, really expensive. Um, the work itself, probably not super, super bad. But my stove doesn't work. And it's going to have to be relocated to a different area. Because my whoever the hell designed this place didn't do it right. That You can't open the oven door because it's against the back door knob. And then that's where the door was and that's where the stove was. I mean, <laughs> you just can't open the oven. And, and now the oven just doesn't even, it won't even turn on even when I can, you know, finagle it to get open. It's, it's like a whole shimmy and pull and tug and uh, always scratches the door. Um, but the oven, it, does, it won't even fire up anymore. One of my eyes is completely gone. So the, the stove has to be replaced and relocated. The entire kitchen sink and kitchen counter have to be redone. My dad's going to build that though. Um, so that's going to be a lot cheaper. I will have to buy wood though. But when this man makes something, he makes it. I, I don't know if I've told you this, but my, my dad made a coffee table and end table set for my mother 35 years ago. You can still tango dance on them. They're not weak. They're not wobbly. They are thick, solid wood. They ain't going no damn where. They screws. I mean, it's, 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 they, they had a big fish aquarium sitting on them. In fact, my parents still have a floor model TV. They bought over 35 years ago, sitting on the coffee table he made. <laughs> and the coffee table is about as heavy as the floor model. And then on top of the floor model, because the floor model finally did break, is a new TV. <laughs> so their TV is like way up in the air. It's all right. They like it. We ain't going to argue with them. But when he builds stuff, he builds it to last. My cousin who just passed away um, was almost killed. In fact, had my father not built the addition to their house, the front addition to their house, so well with his brother. His brother helped, and it was the, his house. Um, but anyway, my cousin and her grandchild was getting ready to walk out of their house when a massive tree that's in there that has been in their front yard, you know, since before the house was put there, fell right onto the doorway as she was opening the door. Because they had built it so thick with so many screws, real thick plywood, real thick, heavy four by fours and huge things she wasn't killed she wasn't crushed it ruined the roof and the house ultimately had to be torn down but they were told that had it not been built so well she would have been crushed to death so you know it, it is sad that she's ultimately lost her lost her life in a different way but at least she had more time so that's a good thing and her grandbaby is fine he is a very safe healthy little boy um and that's always a blessing so yeah, and, and my husband's learned a lot from him and has always learned a lot from him and knew how to do it, could do it on his own, but so much harder. So much harder for a one-person job than a two-person job, especially when one person, and he says he's kind of like more of a modest, uh, he, he has the ability to be a carpenter, just not extremely well at it. He feels he can do it. He's competent, don't get me wrong. I'm not going to crush it at all because he is competent. He is very good at it. He can build a house from ground up. It's just very difficult and would take a very long time. And then you got a professional there, really right there with him, fixing everything and helping him and showing him how to do everything. It, it's a very big difference. And I'm glad. I'm so grateful for my husband and my father. I just want y'all to know that. I'm so grateful for you guys too. Did I show y'all that thing that lady sent? I don't. I guess it was a lady. I, there was no note in it, and I. I need to read my comments so I can tell who sent it. I, they stuffed that sucker in that post office box, so it was hard to get out. Um, if y'all haven't already seen it, I'll pop it at the end, but I think I, I'll just pop it somewhere in the front so y'all can see it beforehand. 
but it was really nice of you. I really, really appreciate it. Um, because that bathroom is going to have absolutely no storage space at all. Um, so things will have to be bought and built in to, to store stuff on um, and in. So, I, but I am going to have about four extra feet of space because we took an old closet out. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm happy about that. All right, you guys. Um, that was day six and my chatterbox self telling you all about everything. I'm going to do a whole video update when the bathroom is done, showing y'all before and after videos and everything and durings. And I can't wait to really, really share that with you guys. I'm so excited. This has been 10 years coming. I mean, we moved from a massive house with a dining hall and a jacuzzi tub to this dump <laughs> that will be a restored dump that we put a lot of time, effort, and money in that we can hopefully be very proud of. And I'm just, I'm excited and I'm ready for it. It can't happen fast enough as long as it happens sturdy enough. Anyway, guys, comment below. Let me know what you think. How are you doing? Are you doing a reboot? Or have you been doing great this entire time? How long have you been keto? Are you even keto? Are you just here to hear me blabber? Some people are. I don't get it because I blabber blabber. <laughs> but y'all my besties. And I need somebody to talk to that gets it and understands. So, comment below. You guys, check out the description section. There's some great ways to support the channel. If you'd like to hook me up with some bathroom stuff, I put a few things in my Amazon wish list. I'm going to go through it and put some more stuff in there too. Um, because I think that's helpful. And if y'all don't get them, I'll get them eventually. Or get something that goes there eventually. So, yeah, you know, if you'd like to do that, that would be very, very kind of you. Very, very appreciated. And share it on the channel, of course. Uh, make sure you send it out so I know who did it. Um, yeah, and let me know below if you did it because I, I want to know. Um, there, If you need help with your, your ketogenic journey, I'm here to help anybody for free. My contact information is below, and I really love and enjoy being able to help other people. So, drop it below. I, I wouldn't con Check the description because that's where my contact information is. Uh, you can also visit ketodiamond.com. Everything right now, plain, simple, free that I know about keto, some before and after pictures, some before and after stories that some of you guys share with me. And one day we need to do an update video, an update on that, and even read some of them on here and then put them over on the website. So that's ketodiamond.com, all one word, smushed and sandwiched together. So check it out. All right, y'all. Much love, many prayers, and hope to see you on night seven of my ketogenic journey. Bye, y'all. My secondary ketogenic journey. <laughs>